hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. Weird. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. It's a big fish net. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles. Wretched refuse on a teeming shore. Something fishy's going on here. Congratulations. You're the 200th person today who said that. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know, it's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. Don't move. I've got to use this car. <coughs> this would look great in our office. It's about time they closed this senseless, cruel, politically incorrect attraction. It was my favorite. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. I find your combination of golfing and alligators almost Dolly-esque in its dissonance. Ditto. Wish it had been my idea. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Don't you ever leave here? Only to feed the gators. When's feeding time? Whenever there's food in front of them. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. The court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered, and how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go?
Max, let's go. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Hold still, you flea-bitten polecat. Here you go, boss. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Four! Nice alligators. Do you like roaches? I hate country music! Hey, you've made a path across the driving range! Jeez, that certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? Hey, knock it off! Hey, Sam! Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth. While I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there, in that horrible booth, waiting. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. It's a hunk of bleach blonde Sasquatch fur and mange. Suitable for framing. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. 
Let me see. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. 